Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 7th Word 2007 tutorial. And today's topic is working with list. What I've done here is I've uh, just pulled an article out of uh, Wikipedia that um, talks about a volcano in, uh, in Argentina. And then what I did is I copied a list out of Wikipedia also that lists all the volcanoes in Argentina. So, you can see the list is quite long. So, when you're working with lists, there's several options here. You can create uh, bulleted numbers um, or bullets, numbers, um, multi-level list and so forth. So I'm going to walk through several of those examples real quick here. So one thing you can do is if you want to create a bulleted point list you can go ahead and put your cursor in front of the first the first um, list item and you can uh, do shift 8 or the asterisk key and hit the space bar and it will automatically make a standard bullet for you there. And then if you were to hit return here it would create it. Also, let me back out of that, go down here, and I'm going to decrease that indent. Let me just go down here and do this real quick. So if I go here and I create a number, I can do type 1, period, and hit the space bar, it will autom automatically create a numbered list. If I hit return, it will continue to um, create the uh, the list. Alright, so let me just back out of those. Now, if you want to, you can highlight an entire list, and in this case I'm highlighting this entire list of volcanoes. And I'm under the home tab here in the lay in the um, in the ribbon here. And I go to the paragraph area here. And I've got several options here. I've got bullet list, number list, I've got multi-level list, and I've got decrease. I've got uh, decrease indent and increase indent, and then um, alignment, and then several options like color and things like that. Okay, so you can play with those. Um, another thing you can do is go here, and this will do borders. So, for example, if you wanted all borders around it, you could do that, and it would apply it. I'm going to back out of that though, and. The other thing you can do is sort, and we'll come back to that in a minute. So if I want to apply this as a numbered list, I could just hit this number option here. And if I wanted to do it a different way, like I want to do, um, you know, label it ABC um, or numerically, but different styles. So whatever you would like to do. So I'll, I'll leave it like that for a second. But let's say I'm not crazy about that. I want to back out of it. I just want to make them bullets. I can go over here and I can click the bullets and it will change them all to bullets. The other thing I can do is I can go down here and I can change the bullets to be any of these other options and there's several, you can define new bullets so don't think that <clears throat> these are your only options here. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave them as a default bullet right now. And another thing I want to show you is your options for sorting. So you can see they're all alphabetically listed here but if I want to sort them I can go here and I can click on the sort button and we're going to go ahead and sort by this column and actually let me do something. I am going to grab everything here because I want their elevation to stay with them. Okay, so I'm going to highlight everything. Whoop. And I'm going to go to sort and I am going to go, I'm going to do descending and I'm going to leave header row if I have a header row if you say no header row it's going to um, not take that into account so I'm going to do descending you notice that it reversed them okay so I'm going to just change it back so if you had a list that was you know a hundred items long and you want it, you didn't you don't need to worry about it being alphabet alpha, uh, in alphabetical order because uh, you can just clean that up afterwards so I'm going to go back and change it to ascending and you'll see it will change it right back. All right. So now I talked about the bullets and the bullet types. The next thing that you can do, or multi-level list, is you can go down and we'll do this again. I'll just add some some random characters here. Okay. So let me go down here and I'm going to highlight these, and I can go over here to a multi-level list. And a multi-level list, as you can see, has different indents. So you notice here they all default to the same bullet type. But if I click right here in front of this second row, 
and I want to indent it, I just click that. I click the increase indent. And if I want this to be a subcategory of this third row to be a subcategory of the second row, I can just keep clicking it like that. The next thing I can do is if I don't like these bullets here, I can go into the uh, multi-level list and I can choose any number of options right? that are the default ones. The other thing I can do is I can do a define a new multi-level list and I can go over here and I can click and change it. So at the third level I can change it from a bullet to a um, a new picture and I can go over here and I can choose whatever I'll choose this 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 item here so you can see it changed it automatically so now if I come down here and add another one it will stay with that theme now if I want to move this indent it I can come in and do that okay that's really all I wanted to share with you today is some some uh, tidbits about working with uh, list and uh, please subscribe and thanks for joining.